If your laptop feels slow or you're tired of Windows updates, it's time for a change. In this video, I'll show you how to install Zorin OS 18 Core, a fast, modern, and beautiful Linux operating system that can bring your old or new PC back to life. You don't need to be a tech expert. I'll guide you step by step. So let's get started. Before we start, here's what you'll need. A USB drive at least 8 gigabytes, a laptop or PC, internet connection, and the Zorin OS 18 Core ISO file, which we will download next. Now, open your favorite web browser and simply type Zorin OS in the search bar. Let's press enter, and here you can see the very first site Zorin.com which is the official site for our operating system. Click on the website, and you will be guided to a beautiful interface. Let me minimize it for you. Here you can see some description about the Zorin OS and some snapshots representing the latest Zorin OS 18 UI. Below is the About section and a bit more description. The UI seems nice. Let's download the ISO file now. Here you can see the Download Zorin OS option. Simply click it. Now you will be able to see the different versions of the OS, let's check them out one by one. This one is the Zorin OS 18 Pro which is the most feature-loaded version currently. Here you have the option to download the ISO file but you can notice this one isn't free, you have to pay 2,999 rupees for it. Let's check other versions below. This is the Zorin OS 18 Core version. And beside it this one this the Zorin OS 18 Education. Both of these versions are totally free. The core version is the standard free edition for general home use whereas the educational version is recommended for students, schools with educational apps pre-installed. In this video we are going to download the core version. Let's click the download button here to download the ISO file. Here, you will be asked to enter your email but it is not required. You can simply click the skip to download button below. This will automatically start downloading the ISO file. We can see the file now in the download history which is around 3.5 gigabytes. Now let's move on to the next step which is creating bootable USB device. We will use the Rufus software to make our USB bootable. In a new tab, type Rufus download. We will click on to the very first site here. Let's scroll down a little. Here you have different EXE file options to download. We will choose the first one which is the standard Windows X64 file. Click on the file to start download. Let's close this ad and our EXE file starts to download. The file is already in our download history. Click on the downloaded EXE file, and then click Yes. You have the Rufus UI in front of you. Here we have the Zorin OS 18 Core ISO file, and the Rufus software. I already have my USB device plugged in my PC. Now let's make our USB as a bootable device. You would be able to see your USB drive here. Select the Disk ISO Image option here, and then select the downloaded ISO file from its location. You don't need to change the preset options here. When the process will be completed this ready indicator will turn green. We are all set to go now so let's press the start button. Here in the pop-up section you need to select the write in ISO image mode option which is recommended. Press OK now. It will give some warnings. Simply click yes. Your USB drive will be formatted now. Click OK, then click OK. 
Rufus has now started copying files and creating the bootable device. Let's fast forward the video and skip to the installation. You can see now the ready indicator has turned green which means our bootable device is ready to be used for installation now. Now close the Rufus window and remove your USB device safely. Here I have my 8-year-old Lenovo laptop in which I'm gonna install Zorin OS. You can see I have already inserted my USB device in the USB port. Let's begin with the installation now. Now press the power button to turn on your PC. You can keep pressing the F12 key to select the priority of the external drives. Then move the USB drive to the top in the priority section using F5 or F6. If this doesn't work you can try pressing F2 to open BIOS settings and change boot settings. I already have done these settings to run a smooth installation. Select try or install Zorin OS here. Or it will automatically select this option. The installation process has began now. Let's fast forward the video and move to the next step. You can pause the video and wait for the current step to be completed. it gives us the option to select the language and other two options which are try Zorin OS and install Zorin OS. I would surely recommend you to chose the first option that is try Zorin OS to give the operating system a try before continuing further installation. We will choose the language as English. I will select install option here because I already have made my mind to install it. It will then ask some keyboard settings which you can choose according to your preferences. After selecting the language and the keyboard layout press continue. It is better if you connect to a Wi-Fi network here as it can help you installing apps and system updates simultaneously with the installation process. Keep these first two options selected as it will help you downloading updates and other third-party softwares. Now press continue. You can now choose your installation type here. Either you want to install the operating system on the same disk in which the previous system was installed, or if you want to create your own disk partitions. If you choose the something else option, you can create your own disk partitions. If you are new to Linux, I will recommend you to go with the first option as you can modify your disk partition later on. It will flash a writing changes to disk's warning. Simply click continue. Enter and select your location here. If the default location matches your time zone, you can avoid changing it and can press continue. Then you would have to enter some details such as your name. You can choose your system name. You can then pick a username. Then choose your password and re-enter the password for confirmation. I will now press continue. It has started copying some files here. Let's fast forward the video to the next step. The installation is now completed and we need to restart our PC. So let's click on the restart now button. Remove the installation media or the USB device now and then press enter. Our PC has now successfully restarted after the install. Let's enter the password and start exploring our new system. Here is a welcome message for you. Asking if you want to have a tutorial and discover essential features. 
I will click No Thanks. Alright, so that was the complete process of installing Zorin OS 18 Core. Now, let's talk about my experience after actually using it for a while. Zorin claims that it can revive even a 15-year-old computer, and honestly, that's what made me try it. But in my case, it didn't really live up to that promise. On my laptop, which isn't even that old, it still feels laggy and sluggish, almost the same as Windows, and since the interface isn't as familiar, it sometimes feels even slower to use. So, yeah, if your system already struggles with Windows, Zorin OS 18 Core might not magically fix that. It looks beautiful, no doubt, the design, animations, and overall polish are great, but performance-wise, it wasn't the smooth, lightweight experience I was hoping for. Personally, I'd say, a laggy Windows still feels better than a laggy Linux because at least everything is familiar and works out of the box. But hey, that's just my experience. If you've tried Zorin OS on your system and got different results, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it worked for you. And if you found this tutorial helpful or you like the honest take, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who's thinking about trying Linux. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.